Hey guys, unfortunately it's me again, Ducky from nilsgalist.com and I'm going to show you how you get a custom user interface with workable functional buttons without code, without verse or any of these shenanigans. So if I go into this trigger, this trigger just symbolizes a button press or whatever you want to use to actually trigger your user interface. The user interface will pop up. There's a single button. If I click this button, this uh, speaker over there is going to play, I think the deactivation sounder or something like that. But this is just a proof of concept. So let's go. This is the user interface. I just copied and, and pasted it in. There is the only button that we can click right now. And we're good to go. And we can do this again. All right, and Without further ado, we're going to jump into Unreal Engine and I'll show you how to do this. First, obviously, the obligatory plug for like and subscribe. Patreon, if you want to support me, my website is engalis.com. Business inquiries are in the descriptions below. And now let's get to the sauce. So we have only three components, maybe four components over here. This trigger that I'm just using to trigger this pop-up dialogue device, which is actually responsible for popping up dialogue, as, as the name suggests, and like I've got my speaker, but this speaker can be anything you want. You will obviously need a UI widget. How do you create it? Right-click on a content manager, user interface widget blueprint. You got two options, but only one of them will work with a button. Modal dialogue variant is the only one that works with a button so you click on that one you name it tutorial there you go and you open it up and this is how it's looking it's pretty empty normally you would use a canvas panel but the canvas panel does not work with buttons trust me on that one you will definitely get an error error so let's delete that get a grid panel on here that works resize it to full hd or whatever you want to use and then well, build your user interface. I just opted for making one in Photoshop. So I'm gonna drag and drop an image in here and I'm going to click, I think it was Shep, Shepard UI, perfect. And now, since this is a grid panel, there is a lot of difficult things going on in here. And you basically cannot drag around anything on this canvas panel at all. You have to work with transformations and all of those images. So the image size is going to be 1920 by 1080 this is what we're working with perfectly fine i'm just gonna bring down the opacity a little bit 0.6 and we are golden now i promised you a button so we're going to get a button you only have four buttons you only have three buttons that you can work with loud which is this button quiet which is which is a trans more transparent one and a regular button, which is the blue one. So you see that all of them are very big if you drag them into there. That's just how it is, but we can change that. We go with the loud button, why not? It's yellow. Now you can't move it, and if you change that around, it's 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 just tedious. However, if you do this and this, it's the perfect size. It's the perfect size again. All right. We said we cannot move it. I wanna have it at the equip, at the equip button, so you have to translate it down here right. just move it around and you are good to go this is the ui that we want to have compile and we are good but we're not done yet in here what we have to do is view bindings add a new widget click on here one way view model and let's go to the functions let's click in here for the functions so conversion functions and uh -huh. And we want to assign this button to get response button one. Select, perfect. Click on this, click on this field on here, creative dialogue, response. You have to learn it by heart. I myself don't think that there's any correlation to what any of these does. I have to look into it a little bit more in hand. So let's click on here. We only have tutorial grid panel button. And when it is pressed, where is click event? There you go, click event select and we are golden this is actually all you have to do compile thank you very much i'm going to change the text of loud button to no way no way compile again and we are good let's just save it for good measures and back into unreal engine so drag and drop in a pop-up dialogue device 
this is what we're doing. This is what, ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to do today. Drag and drop in a pop-up dialogue device. You can find it on the Fortnite devices and just, just dialogue. No, there you go. Dial pop-up dialogue device. All right, you're good. That's all you, that's all, all you need. You click on it. I'm going to delete all of this so we can work on it together. Auto display never. I don't want to show it except for when I'm stepping onto this trigger. So show when I am on the trigger. This is, you know, you can bind that to button press or like to a signal to any, any sort of signal um, to trigger or anything. I'm just enabling, I'm showing and enabling it when I go to the trigger, trigger on trigger. So now it's there. Now it's there. Now we can tell it under model widget, template override class, which widget you want to share. And I'm saying the tutorial widget. The tutorial widget is what I want to, what I want to share with all of you guys. And this is all we have to do for this pop-up dialogue device as well triggering it if you click a button it's going to be gone anyways now we see what we want to trigger with our little button and for that i have a audio player in here this is going to play the action trigger power on cue it sounds like this all right that's all we need that's all we need so we want to play this whenever our pop up dialogue device is being responded to with button one and we're good guys this is actually all we need to do so we push the changes i'll show you that this is actually all we need to do and let's go perfect and now we are back in game so let's step on the trigger please press me please no way so this is what we set up to do so it's working and if we press this is going to play a sound amazing so guys you can be very creative with this right you can build up your user interface however you want to and give and give those buttons the functions that you want to so this is your tutorial on how to actually make a interactable user interface thank you so much for your attention i'm going to obviously plug my website my YouTube channel, my Patreon, that would be very nice. Like and subscribe to everything I have. <laughs> Visit me on Instagram. And I see you guys uh, in the next video.